We are back. It's episode 20. It's been a few episodes since I've been with Jackson. I think it was episode 14. Shouldn't be shouting that off the first, but there's no one behind us. So welcome back, Jackson. So the reason I'm in black and orange today will become apparent throughout the round. I've recently found out I've been gripping the golf club wrong this entire time. Recently, it was Oliver's birthday. We went to a place called Cape Panoir, my favorite place on the island. And as part of Oliver's birthday celebrations, he decided to bring a massive bucket of golf balls. Okay, what a party this is. <laughs> Free flow drinks, and Ollie's brought his golf clubs out with him. And we were spazzing them into the sea. Come in, Ollie. <laughs> and Vid was there, if you remember Vid, from episode one and episode nine, who is an ex European Tour Pro. And I said to Vid, come and sort my slice out. And the first thing he said was, well, show me your grip. And it turns out I've been holding my club like a baseball bat. And that's where this cap comes in today. This is my old baseball cap. I used to play for the Brighton Buccaneers, played for many, many years for Great Britain. And I've been playing like a baseball player. So he sorted out my swing. Nick, come on, hit the ball, mate. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> so hopefully the new grip will be a sign of positive things to come. Okay. I'll take pin high on my first wedge in, just a little bit off the green. Yeah, we'll take that. Okay, so part of that new grip does mean that I will roll over my wrists a bit earlier, which obviously stops me slicing. Uh, but that was a massive hook, <laughs> as you can see. So that's another one pulled left today. I think I'm about pin high again, which means this could be attributed so far potentially to the new grip. It means I am rolling over my wrists. So I'm gonna be less likely to slice it, I presume. We're here for four. Let's up and down it from here, Carter, come on. Oh, the new grip doesn't sort out your duffing though, does it, Carter? Oh dear. So massive duff on the tee shot. Massive duff on the recovery shot. Swing, bada bada, swing! 
Uh oh, strike one. Come on, Carter. Oh, strike two. Come on. Hey, lucky Carter. Nearly struck out there. Oh, you didn't film it. Oh, you didn't see it. I will right, we'll take a par. You may not have seen it because Mayor Pawn's bad <laughs> camera work. Mayor Pawn doesn't get a tip today, nah? No tip. Bad camera work. Don't get to see that chip. Con Matty, how close oh, was it? Yeah. Oh, see, bet, better Cadina. Yeah. Thank you. So whilst we're hold up for a 20 minute rain delay, Let's talk a little bit about the, the new grip. It feels good, but obviously maybe I'm overcompensating. Normally I say I shouldn't be practicing these kind of things on the course. And the fact is I haven't. I've been hitting balls into a net for the last week. Not every day, but every other day at least. And it feels good when I hit it into the net, but obviously you don't get to see the true flight of the ball. It's always felt like I'm hitting it flush. But obviously now that I'm out on the course, definitely rolling my hands over. It's going to hopefully stop the slice, that's for sure. It looks like I'm hooking it now. Whereas, as I've explained from my baseball career, holding a baseball style grip, when you swing the bat, your fingernails of your trail hand should be up because you need to contact the ball first before you start rolling over. And so that's obviously where I believe my slice has come from. So I'm trying to correct that. The half swing's looking good. I've looked at a couple of swings, that's looking good. It's just now that I'm overcompensating with the new grip rolling over a little bit too soon and now i'm starting to hook the ball so always stuff that we're working on every day is progress we're going to work on something new every single round so i forgot to push record on the drive we've had about a 30 minute rain delay got it down there bit off the heel quite short but we're on the fairway so we'll take that Absolutely ridiculous. Just, just ridiculous, really. Ah. Okay, Carter, if you're going to duff it again, you might as well duff it with a five iron. So if you do connect it good, you're going to get it on the green. Come on, Carter. It's a high. The divot wasn't as pronounced as the other shot and it's aiming right at the bunker and that's exactly where you've gone Carter. All right, so look, we decided to sack it off. It was absolutely terrible weather, two rain delays, and also I was playing absolutely terrible. So if you finish after the fifth hole, they give you an 18 hole rain check. So we decided to take that opportunity. But look, we take positives from every round and the grip feels good. We're gonna keep working on that. But most importantly, look at this. Someone's been practicing. Can you show us how to do it? Tee it high and let it fly. Don't forget to hold your follow through. Ready? Hold! <laughs> You're gonna go and hit that one? Yeah. Go and hit it. Go. <laughs> oh, that was a good one! Wow. That's called the sky spaz. After you hit it, shout four! <laughs> Oh, I don't know what that swing was. Absolutely ridiculous. You're throwing a hissy fit like Daddy. Sky, show me your card of spaz. <laughs> Can you do a card of spaz? <laughs> do a card of spaz. There was. 
I can hit it this time and go spaz. <laughs> oh, brilliant. The card of spaz.